All right, with lab five, six here, we've got a problem where we're gonna figure out how many people are left-handed and how many are right-handed. And we're gonna keep asking, you know, are you left-handed or right-handed over and over and over again for tons of people or however many people we want until we enter a sentinel value, which is Q. And the book is gonna have something different than that. But here's the basic idea, is that we're gonna have three variables. Left or right is going to be where you know, the, for, it's the variable that is going to take whatever letter we're going to enter, like L or R or Q. And then we've got two integer variables, right total and left total. Because each time we, you know, select either L or R, it's going to have, there's an if else and then a nested if statement to determine basically like, uh, did you hit R? And if you did, we're going to increment right total by one. You know, we're just adding one person to the right-handed slot. And equally for the left-handed slot when we hit L. So we're going to start off with asking that question, are you left-handed or right-handed? Or hit Q to quit. And then we've got a way to enter that. So while we don't hit Q for quit, we're going to check now. <clears throat> is left or right equal to L? So did you type in an L? If so, then give the total, the left total, one. You know, tally one point there. Else, if that didn't happen, if you hit an R, then put a tally in the right total slot. And then move on and ask the question again to see if we can exit the loop. And after we're done, we're just going to output the left total and the right total. So that's fairly simple here. And I'll show you how it how it looks when you run it. Okay. Uh, left or right. Now with this I didn't check for lowercase L and lowercase R or lowercase Q. So you know I would have to hit the capital L. So lefty do another lefty and another lefty, two righties, and a Q to quit. So three left-handed students and two right-handed students, and that's correct. So this one's not too difficult. We got uh, just remember, uh, I guess we've got an if else and then a nested if here. I would experiment if I were you and see if you might be able to just have else and then not even have this if right here and just else right total plus plus. See how that works. Um, you know, just do a little bit of testing. You might be able to get away with that. I haven't tried it personally yet, but that might be possible. Um, so yeah, just have fun with it. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.